so hello everyone again um welcome back to the wordpress course series we we are now in episode four of season two and it is in this episode four of season two we'll be talking about managing users you know we talk about uh, customizing sorry restricting permissions for users okay restricting, restricting permission for users to be able to um you know, to be limit to be able to limit them to do one or two or to perform one or two operations so but before we uh, go to that i promise that we are going to find a way to edit this so like i said i've not used this thing before so uh, the funny thing is i didn't even consult the documentation but we can consult that to be able to edit this part that we uh, are thinking of editing you understand but i'm just going to show you how to do that now but let's try and check the configuration sorry the documentation to see if we have if there is a guideline guideline for for us to edit that so if there's a guideline for us to edit that i think we should be able to we should we, we can just go with the with the guidelines okay so i'm just going to scroll scroll through to see how we can edit those those, those things though i have seen how to edit it but i'm just trying to see if we can find a way to do that so that we can both see oh fine they didn't even tell us much about it but there's a way to do that you get okay so now they, they they've mentioned something here but you know you have to figure some things out your, your by your by yourself also so now let's go back here so on this in this part now we have general settings so let's click on content uh, contact content okay so edit contact content edit so you are going to be changing that to nigeria now romania instead of romania it's going to be changing that to nigeria okay nigeria right then uh this will say lagos lagos uh, one two three four a h suit suit one two three four a h lausa ikeja you understand then blah 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 the rest nigeria you understand how it works now okay then that so we have that i think the name the other thing here is um, name which is you understand and we have that then um uh, okay so here you have the number here saying two three four eight one six three four two five zero point nine zero so then you have that then just click on you okay so do you have to click on save i'm just going to copy this out in case there's any permission so there's no room for clicking on save here so i think it has changed i don't know if you notice that so let's just click on um, publish so when you, when you now look at your demo site you should now see a changed um address okay it changed the address there can you see that so it's one two three four eight eight allows i can just leave those nigerian things like that so that's how to change that so that's that means if you're using this team so in fact i recommend this team for you to use so far what you are doing is related to what you can see here so uh i'm supposed to take us through changing this um, background but i don't see any reason changing the background because right now it's just it's just great the way it is okay you can change the background from here but which what are we going to change it to okay let's, let's just change it let's just change it let's just change it let's see i think yeah we can change it to this let's see how that would, would that would work wow wow and it worked well isn't isn't, isn't that great well it worked well so let's just reload it and see what we have here now very great very nice image oh fine look at it is that not great is that awesome so now look at what we have here now as our template as our theme let's just check it on the dark on dark area i don't know why this image these addresses are not showing um, i'm using incognito mode on um, chrome oh fine it's not showing up wow what was your problem before so now we have that on 
chrome you can see it's even brought this out well and it's great and it blended, it blended with the color that we uh, we 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 actually use it which is um kind of good good like um i don't know i am um, kind of i am color blind so well it's not like i'm color blind you know there are a whole lot of colors and a whole lot of names attributed to each color so i just pick colors i don't i pick the color codes i don't pick the, i don't i'm not concerned about the color right now okay so i think that's that for that so we are good to go with that um, editing so now let's go straight to this lessons um to this episode my words or episode um um lesson okay so how do we manage our users let's go back to our dashboard you know everything starts from the dashboard all right so let's go back to our dashboard So now we have now we are in the dashboard, okay? Then um, we are going to be looking for what we call users. Look at look at it here, users, okay? All users, look at it here. Then look at settings. So we we will be dealing with these these three things here, but majorly this, okay? So now let's click on users now. So that it will take us to all users okay so when you have a theme or when you have a a sorry when you have a user rather when you have a user you can see that um it's saying the role is what administrator so if i intend to create a new user now okay and then create a new user now. I say uh, his name is Ajibola. Okay. Then uh, my email is uh, Ajibola. That then uh, I have that as my website. Well, my website is Ash. There's no matter what it is. Then um, show password. Wow, that was a very thick password there. Then I can pick a role. I don't want to send this application. I can pick a role for this person. Okay. I can pick a role for the for this person here. Is it shop manager? Is it customer? Is it subscriber? Is it contributor? So each of these persons have limited. Um, they have limited roles. They have their own different permissions to access different things. Okay. So now I'm gonna just gonna pick this guy as an editor. Okay. Let me copy this password because I I will definitely not remember. So that when we are trying to log in, I will be I will be able to show you. Okay, this that and that that. So now it says it has um, it has installed. Okay. Well, open main directory. Where is that? Wow, wow, wow. So that's Laragon for you. Laragon Lara, Lara is sending a mail. <laughs> wow, that's great. Okay, now we have that. Um, then we can set um, we can set the user role. So right now that we have um we have ajibola now let's try to log in from another place and let's see what permission ajibola will have when working with um demos website okay so ajibola okay okay so we have that now fine we can log in also but you can see that this person is not allowed to see the plugin the themes the in fact the rest of everything there it's not even allowed to post uh, products it's only allowed to see profile tools and things like that so those are the kind of uh permission you can give to different users depending on who and who you want to allow to do what and what okay just replay what i just said so that's just the way the, the way it is so um there's one other thing here that um, i'm actually looking for you should be able to edit what each role 
can um, can do yeah what each role can do um right now to be able to um edit the what the user will see you know i've shown you what the user will actually see from here you can see that it's a, it's a bit limited to what compared to what we have already okay so um compared to what we have here that is um elaborate okay so but there are still some things that we okay assuming we want to add more more functionalities for for the um editors um level user you understand editors level user now then we need to do something we need to install a particular plugin we need to install a user role plugin so uh, we are just going to pick any plugin at random it's not like i've used anyone before we are going to pick anyone at random to use so yeah hello so now for us to be able to add um, users role for us, you know we i showed us um the ajibola the ajibola the, the the new user we created okay the the new user we created we actually um you can see that it has a different uh, a bit of a a minimized dashboard okay that's because of the use the the user this is not a, a full user this is just a, a a this is just one of those users you understand minor user this like that i can say minor user rather so we we so that's why we have a little um little things in the dashboard as you can see so it depends on this person now as, as an editor can only post can only post in the pages and comments and um, check his own profile and that's all okay but if you want the editor to be able to do more things or possibly want to add more user level you understand more user level then we can do what just search for a user role plugin okay user role plugin then that should give us capability of creating more user type okay so i'm just going to pick this one that says 600,000 plus active installation then look at the rating this one to school no, not bad so you can use this too but i think i'm just going to go with this okay you can use any of these ones too but i'm just going to go with this okay so let's just go with that and um, let's just get on with what we are supposed to do so now we can edit the capability of what that user will be able to see also we can also add new roles okay so we can want we, we, we you may want to leave the editor that way and um Possibly we want to promote uh, the new user we just created. Okay, then we can have him. We can just create a new plugin, I'll say a new role, and then create a new permission of like the what and what the that user will be able to do. Then the rest would go after. Okay, now how do we uh, access what we just downloaded? Now I think we should be able to see it from the. Um, you're going to see it from the user. Then go to user role editor. You can see the name here. Let's see if you can find it in any other place. We can find we can also find it in the settings also. So it's also present in the settings as well as the user area. So let's just click anyone. It's going to take us to the same place. Okay. So now you can see a lot of configuration, right? Is that not it? Then let's check. Um, you can we we can't the only configuration here that we can't change here is the uh, is the administrator's configuration. Okay, because uh, the administrator is the sovereignty in, on this on this platform right now so it's is the only one that can do everything okay so let's see what our editor has so our editor has delete other pages delete posts you can see that it's only post post it can't delete plugin you can delete pages you can delete posts you can delete private pages you can delete private posts you can delete publish pages you can delete posts uh publish posts edit posts edit pages and page and post page and post that is that the permissions that are need that are given to so those are the permissions that are given to the edit the editor so what do i want to create new role or new capability so i'm not going to touch this editor's capability right now so i'm just going to create a new role and upgrade the the uh um, um, role on the site okay so I'm just gonna add a new role here. I think, yeah. No, add a new role here. Add a new role. 
No, I'm naming the role. Uh, I'm uh, I'm saying the role is uh, the, the the role is uh, admin. Okay, lower or let me let me just use manager, right? So I have manager here. So the name is display is manager, right? Manager. Okay. And um, here now I have. Um, okay let's clone let's clone editor so we are going to add more rows to the editors road okay so now you have cloned the editor so we have manager here as our you can see now that we have manager added to it so now let's start adding okay so this person can um can um uh, do what create user also okay this person can um uh, delete other products delete plugins delete shop coupons uh can the person delete plugins no but the person can activate plugins no she you are and i don't want us to have that there okay so let's just look at other ones of course this person can delete products and posts and shop and coupon everything that has to do with products if this person can do it so you can publish product also and delete shop also and everything about shops i'm gonna see the difference now but you can't touch the team the only person that can touch the team is the user this person can't touch the user you can't touch the forms you can't edit the dashboard you can only do other things you can't do the forms also or you can do private product product here product here product here product here this year, this year, this year, this year, this year, this year, this year. Then about the others. So we can't touch the other things. We can touch this one. Manage this. Manage that. Manage WooCommerce. Maybe. Okay. I'm, I'm not giving the privilege to that for that actually. Then publish product. Publish product. Publish shop. Then we don't have that. Um, uh, just keep on watching <laughs> because I'm tired of talking right now. But just keep on watching. Um, you're gonna see what we have already. So I think that's that. So the other the other privileges are not what we want the user to be able to do. Okay. So I'm just gonna update this user. All right. Yes. Update. So. Okay. So now role is now updated with all um, everything we've now what setting here. Okay. So, uh, so you say add capabilities. What other capabilities do you want to add? I don't know. So you are not adding anything. So now let's now go back to our all user. Okay, let's set a new role for Ajibola to be the manager. All right. So edit. Okay. Then uh, you are going to be choosing a new role here. It says this person has to be the manager. I just hope it does not backfire yeah okay fine so now we can have the manager here can you see so update all right now it has been updated it's updated okay so um there's one thing i would like to show us before oh let me just show you can see now we have the manager here now right so let's go back to where where we uh, opened Ajibala's profile and we load them. We are going to see that we now added the product area to what Ajibala's uh, dashboard. Can you see that? So, in as much as we, uh, we also allow him to be able to add a new user to it. So, in as much as we've added all these things, they are going to be showing here. So, also, um, you can also change capabilities also without you, you might be able to do that without going through. Uh, this plugin but one thing you should know that it actually came back to this plugin area because before be, before there was no option for the capability changes here but now that we have the the plugin installed here that's why we, we are not able to change the capabilities so you can change the capability directly here and uh, you know then you are good to get just update right then you are good to go okay so I think that's that. That's that. That's that. Let's see what we have in the second column. 
or maybe three columns. Everything should be on one column so that we can have a good view. Okay, I think that's that for the role management. If there is any confusion in what I just did now, please kindly drop your comments or your questions. I'm going to get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, so thanks for your patience. Um, kindly subscribe, give us, a, give us a thumbs up for our valuable content. Then um, kindly also click on the subscribe button for so that you'll be notified of our new valuable videos okay thanks and stay safe god bless